Last Saturday, I painted Nianhua at the China Children's Center in Beijing. Chinese New Year woodblock prints, or Nianhua, are a traditional Chinese folk art. Suku Ming teamed up with Sui to create a collection of eight classic woodblock prints to color. Suku Ming and Sui's collection includes prints from Shanxi, Sichuan, Shandong, Henan, and Hebei provinces. Nianhua have distinct styles depending on the region where they were made, and the prints hold different meanings depending on their subject matter. I'll talk about a couple of them, starting with Zhong Kui, the demon queller. Zhong Kui was a brilliant man and the top scorer on the imperial exam when he took it. Unfortunately, he was also very ugly, and when the emperor saw his hideous visage, he stripped him of his title of top scorer. The shame of the situation led Zhong Kui to kill himself and sent him to hell. Unlike the emperor, the king of hell saw great potential in Zhong Kui and appointed him Lord of Demons and tasked him with capturing and disciplining the demons of the world. As such, Zhong Kui's image is frequently used to ward off evil and protect the household. General Yu Chegong and General Qin Shu Bao were famous generals in the Tang Dynasty and were instrumental in securing and protecting the reign of Emperor Li Shimin. Li Shimin was a restless sleeper and often had nightmares, likely due to the bloody coup that he orchestrated to become emperor. To make him rest easy, the general stood vigil outside his doorway and protected him while he slept. Rather than risk his most trusted and capable generals being worn out by round-the-clock duty, the emperor had their likenesses placed outside his door in their place. The common people soon followed this practice and since then, the generals have served as symbols to attract good luck and fend off evil. The colors in the kit are really fantastic, and the paper that the Nianhua are printed on is wonderful. It has a really nice hand feel and is very forgiving. It's made with two layers of fibers, so if you overload your brush with paint, it'll soak up some of the excess. So it's really great for a novice like me. I have to say that this activity was a lot of fun, and it was easier than I thought it would be, considering that the last time I distinctly remember painting with watercolors was when I was about the same age as the kids today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.